So my name is Gregor Arturo. For the last eight plus years, I've worked in the free energy movement. Who's here familiar with the phrase free energy? Woo! All right. Awesome, awesome, right crowd. Oh, I'm very familiar. Thank you, Luminaries, for making that song. So one of the things I want to talk about is well, we're all familiar with one of the big issues with Standing Rock has to do with the oil. There's still many of us driving out to Standing Rock with fossil fuels, and it's become a dependency for so much of us in our lives. And one of the things I've seen working in this movement with the many other brilliant inventors and researchers is seeing the amount of self-sabotage. All the way back to Nikola Tesla, you could even say there's been self-sabotage. Because one of the big things to shift is our perception, our daily perception, of how we are a unified consciousness. And the thing with free energy, it's stepping into abundance. It's stepping into limitless supply. And the thing is, many of us in our hearts still believe in scarcity. And so when the collective is rooted in scarcity, we will continue to self-sabotage ourselves again and again and again, because that's our belief system. And so we want to shift the landscape of this world. It's every step we take every day. We do it with abundance. We do it with faith that there's enough to go around for everyone. Because when we shift that perception, then it makes my job, people working in this field, easier. It makes everything easier because that becomes our belief system. We believe there is abundance. And so to share like a really simple, geeky, fun thing you know, with understanding free energy, because it's been made to be like this really complicated thing in the world of physics and science, is really understanding the power of the vortex. And that right here in this room, between my fingers, is so much energy. And that our entire environment is under pressure all the time. Right now there is pressure in this room. When you look at something like a hurricane, that hurricane builds itself off of pressure, off of polarity of pressure. And as long as there's hot, humid air coming off of the oceans, it will continue to self-organize. It will continue to grow perpetually. Because there is truth in perpetual motion. It's very real. It's very tangible. It really just requires a shift in our perception. And so, I invite all of you to start seeing the world a little bit differently. Start seeing that there is a potential for unlimited potential. Because it's right around the corner. It's right here. It really is. It's when there's just enough of, them, enough of us that say yes to abundance, yes to prosperity, that these technologies can come through. Because in 1899, Nikola Tesla in Colorado Springs figured it out. He really did. And he took that technology and went to Long Island. And he built something called the Wardenclyffe Tower. And if that went operational, it will provide enough free energy for the entire New York metropolitan area plus some. Mm -hmm. Of course, J.P. Morgan stopped that because he had the largest stake in Anaconda Copper. And so the same cycle that we're dealing with right now with the banks and big oil is happening right here. It's the same thing. So what are we going to do to change that cycle? It's right here. It's feeling that abundance. Because the science is there. It's really simple. And look in the vortex. If you want to go geeking and figure out something with science, you don't have to do it with quantum physics. It's in the vortex. And that Tesla spoke about the magnificence of 3, 6, and 9, and what he did with the AC polyphase motor, which we did in Niagara Falls, that built our entire AC electrical system that we have today, which is the basic notion of understanding 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. It's rotation. And that we've gotten so detached from what science really is, with all this jargon and language, and it's right here in front of us. Sit by a river and watch how the water flows and the eddy currents smile in the river, how bees make their hives and, and collect and harness chi with their honey. It's profound things that nature does. So with the use of biomimicry, through studying nature and applying it to technology, we can create this revolution instantly. If we come from right here. Yes. So I invite all of you to take every step from now on with prosperity, 
love and gratitude. Because it's that embodiment on the daily that's going to shift all of this for everyone. So thank you for coming. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comment section because it very well could end up being our next video. Learn more at www.gregory.ninja where I'm talking about really cool things like Nikola Tesla and these star coils and how they're changing the scope of the universe and well, it's coming to a reality near you. So I invite you to participate. Thank you.